me say something. Let me say something, okay? I'm rooting for the Dodgers. I, you know, they're due. They've suffered enough disappointment. I love me some Mookie Betts. I, I've always hated the Clayton Kershaw narrative. So let's be clear. I'm looking for the Dodgers to take this thing. I, that's what I want to happen. But I, oh, there's another side of me, though, that would derive great pleasure from watching that head of yours explode if the Tampa Bay Rays were to somehow win this series. At minimum, make it a long series. Because yesterday, oh my God, you were when they sweep, when they're closing this out in game four, they could bring back yep. Kershaw. Oh my God. So yeah, yeah. Um yeah, yeah. what you got now? I can't even I can't even name you many rays. Um I know Brandon right. oh, Lowe. That's a problem. I know Brandon, I know Ooh. Brandon Lowe. Hit two home runs right. last night, and I only know that because I read it today. I only knew it because I read it. <laughs> he had two home runs last yeah. night, and he broke out of a six for fifty-six postseason slump. And it's one-one, baby. And so this may be in real time. I may be jumping on the Rays bandwagon right now, Michael, because I just, I, I just, I, the troll in me, the troll in me has been awakened and inspired. Because yeah. you know what, Michael? Wait, let me have the floor for a second. Let me have the floor for a second. Because you know, you know what's Go ahead, the floor. You got it. You I, got it. You know what's a, you know what's an underreported story. You know what people don't talk enough about? The discrepancy in payroll is gargantuan between these two teams. I mean, how in the world this scrappy, undermanned, little team that could Tampa Bay Rays squad taking on this Goliath? Look at those payroll numbers, Michael. Nobody's talking about this, Michael. Nobody's talking about this. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why people are overlooking the fact that the Rays really don't belong here. Nobody believed in them. I don't care that they went 40 and 20. Nobody believed in this team. Look at that. Goes to show you that a smart organization. <laughs> You're a jerk, man. Like, really, you like, really, got like a lot of jerk in you. I said earlier this week, Remember earlier this week, I said you're a nicer person. I, I said that. I, I said you're a nicer else. person. I got nothing to But you're not a nicer person. You're not a nicer person than I am. I mean, seriously. I mean, I don't, I don't know that you could talk enough about that, Michael. I don't know that you could talk hey, enough man. about the difference in payroll. I, don't, I think that's an underplayed there. Have you ever me. heard? Have you ever heard somebody say, like, about a city? Let's say you like a city. You, you ever hear anybody say, I love the city. I wish it had different people. You know, <laughs> like Tampa. <laughs> Tampa, I like the pl I like the players. I like the players, and I might even like people in management. And I might, but it's just the way their story is told. I like the players. I hate their story. And you mentioned, you said very poignantly. You said, "Oh, I can't even name a few. Uh, uh, I can only name a few Rays." That's part of the poignantly. problem. The ra <laughs> it's almost like the play. It's not about the players. It's not about the players. And Tampa Bay Rays being here, they they should be out there in Brioni suits. They're not out there in uniforms. Those are the front the front office is on the field. Those players are just proxies for the front office. They, these players haven't done anything. You throw any players in there because of the brainiacs in the front office who have made all this happen. Let me read you. Can I just read you a quote? Just a quote uh, from your former employer, your former employer, ESPN. Shame of themselves. Wrote this story about how the Rays are changing baseball forever. They have changed baseball. I love teams that change their sport without winning a championship. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just relying. I'm just kind of relying to you. Uh, despite a payroll that ranks 28th in Major League Baseball. Uh, who knew? Ahead of just the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Baltimore Orioles, that philosophy, along with the reputation for outsmarting other teams, <laughs> <laughs> in trades and tactics has long brought the Rays respect. Now it has brought them back to the World Series for the first time yeah. in a dozen years. Like, you know what? I'm, I, I'm, I just can't. Yeah, I'm a, I like the players. Great guys. I cannot have them win. They cannot win. And, and look, if it has to go seven, if it has to go seven, so be it. The Dodgers, you must win this. Do this for me. Please win this for me. Yeah. Please. I would, I would, you know what? You know what? I wouldn't be in a good for I would not be a good friend if I did not root for the Rays at this point. I would not I, I would be doing our relationship in this show a disservice 
if I didn't just go ahead and jump on it. Randy a Rosarena, what's it? Uh, is that did I say it right? A Rosarena. Look at you. Yeah, right. You're trying to you get know, the rookie that's hitting the like ten Get Williams. the names right. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Dude, I told you, I don't want to be paying attention no more. I thought, you listen, don't let me go down that path, okay? Bottom line is, he's good. And I'm going to get a jersey. I'm going to get a Randy, a Rose and Rainer jersey. Just, and I'm going to wear it to the show. And I'm repping the Rays for the rest of the, 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 this playoff series. The rest of this playoff series. You, just to you show know. you. you in, fact, in fact, how about that? Two cha- Would you take that? Would you take two tampa- uh, champions in Tampa? Would you take that? You want you want the you want the Bucks to win so bad. Why you can't get on the Rays bandwagon? No, the Bucks are different. The Bucks are different. Like nobody nobody says. Oh, great the, li- about the, the, the I'm sorry, the, the Lightning. Yeah. Oh, the Lightning. You were for the you were for the Bucks as well, though, right? I I want the Bucks to win. I like the Bucks. Yeah, yeah I know. That's just like too, Bucks. Low key. Yeah, but no, I can't I can't deal with this. I can't deal with the Rays. Um, but. I, I do I do like what they bring to the table. See, there's a different story to be told with the Rays that's intriguing. They are. It's almost like uh, if you wanted to uh, switch up sports. So in, in football, we always talk about it being a passing league, right? It's a passing league, and we're just used to that. And then here here comes somebody. If somebody came along with a pure running old school offense. And, and won the Super Bowl defense and, and running game, we'd say, oh, man, that's a throwback. The Tampa Bay Rays, if you look at the way they built their team, they're a throwback team. They're not blessed with tons of offensive talent, but they got a great pitching staff, and, and they make smart decisions on the field, on the field, the players, the players, the actual players <clears throat> do a good job. But we don't get that story. All we get is about their little payroll and, and their smart, their Wall Street front office. Please don't win. Please, please. I, I, listen, I, I just get, I just derive such joy, such joy. Give me this one from from please. from from your pain. And I told you, it, listen, I I love Mookie, but my priority is is uh is poking fun at you. That's my priority at this point. So they've changed baseball. Uh, Mike. Settle in. <laughs> they've changed baseball. Forever, forever. It's, a, it's it's right there. Long story, long story about how they've changed the game. 